That's why we really went now. Read that part again, what you just said about, about they, they was in favor. Although many opposed the abuses of the transatlantic slave trade, they were actually in favor of keeping Africans as slaves. Go ahead, read the rest of it. George Whitefield and Jonathan Edwards both kept slaves. And the Anglican Society for the Propagation of the Gospel in Foreign Parts owned many slaves in the Caribbean. Many combined a misapplication of the Old Testament. Because, you know when they said the Anglican, that's Christian. That's, that's Christian. That's, that's Christian. The, the Anglican yep. Society. That's, that's Christian. Go ahead. The Anglican Society for the Propagation of the Gospel in Foreign Parts mm -hmm. owned many slaves in the Caribbean. The Christians on many slaves. We don't? Many combine a misapplication of the Old Testament. Many combine a misapplication mm -hmm. of the Old Testament with a mixture of racist and quote unquote God cursed views mm. regarding African people. The Christians on many slaves. The Christians on many slaves. The Christians on many slaves. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem. <coughs> Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raka Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, I want to say Shalom to the elect, okay, the men laboring, uh, you know, in this work and sincerity. Okay, and I want to go on a video with. Uh, uh, IUIC okay uh, this is probably one of the first videos that I didn't do getting on them you know we have our differences but um, I pulled up a video um, and it was titled it was t I, I wanted to find out what Christianity had to do uh, with uh, crack addiction okay so crack addiction so well this is the title the Israelites Christianity is worse than crack uh, crack cocaine okay because I was going to try to put something together and this is the first one of the first videos that came up which was a good title and as you heard in the intro it, um, it's just simple as reading man you know you, you figure with Black History Month you have Google and you can get all the information you need true information you know, it's misinformation, but true information on uh, slavery when you link it to the scriptures. Okay? It's all in the scriptures. Okay? So, uh, I just wanted to do a uh, touch on that impromptu. Just go with the spirit and see where it goes. Uh, because um, that is an excellent title because um, Christianity is worse than crack cocaine. Why do I say that? Because if it wasn't for Christianity, our people wouldn't be strung out on crack like that, okay? Which the Lord ultimately allowed that to happen on the left-hand side. But it was Christianity that is the destroyer of the so-called black, native, and Latino uh, uh, population, okay? We can now see why the young men, and I'll say young men because they bring the seeds, the, the young women are... Um, just a curse to the young men. You know, our women are a curse to us. Okay? So we can see that our young men that are walking around in a zombie-like state, and all they know is basketball, football, and running up and down the street with their pants hanging down, we can see what happened. You know? The mother's chasing the almighty dollar. The father that stepped out. Uh, the mother said, well, you're going to make me uh, the white man's going to make me the head of household. Well, guess what? I don't need his ass. So then he gets threatened by the woman, and then the woman gets pissed off uh, at, at her son because she's mad at him. And this is what happens. The woman will indoctrinate her son to be feeble and weak or emotionally sick and destructive. Okay? Anyway, getting into the lesson, we just want to go into the fact that... Uh, and I pulled up a, a, a link as well that crack cocaine is worse than slavery. I mean, uh, slavery. I mean, Christianity is worse than crack cocaine. No, no doubt about it, man. Okay, on every street corner, there is a church, and across from every church, and I'm talking about in the inner city ghetto, 
is a crack is a crack shop. Okay, somebody that opened up shop selling crack or heroin or meth or pills or there's a liquor store, and I'm talking about selling that cheap hard liquor. Okay, First Corinthians one and eighteen. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of Yahweh. Okay, so. They, those Christians that go with those big uh, crosses and, and, and now they're, they're actually learning from the Israelites. I'm looking at Vocab Malone page, the apologetics or whatever they call themselves. They are now pulling scriptures that we pull. They've never pulled scriptures like that, man. Like 1 Peter 3 and 15. Be ready to uh, give an answer to, to, you know, to everyone that uh, calleth. Just paraphrasing. They never pull scriptures like that. Now all of a sudden, they're seeming, trying to seem so deep. But they're trying to keep the Gentile. They're using this as to weed out, to put themselves up above other Christians. They have actually ca used counterintelligence, uh, just like the, the government does. Got information. That's how he knows so much about the Israelites. You think he learned that much about the Israelites and haven't learned uh, how to use some of these scriptures you'll see him do it before all he pulled was John 3.16 they didn't even know how to put the Bible together I guarantee you they know how to precept upon precept now I guarantee you they're trying to do that now the problem is precept upon precept goes to the salvation of the Israelites it has nothing to do with heathens that's why they can't precept it okay this is uh Psalm 55 verse 21 it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart okay you got these politicians that will sit here and tell you ch uh, change is going to come change change make America great they say all these things but, it, but to you tribes you so called blacks Latinos you natives they're, they're about war they, got, they have war in your heart they have war to destroy you. They they have no love for you. Scripture says never trust thine enemy. They have no love for you, man. They are trying to kill you. Just look at those Fritos and Doritos and all that acidic food and those acidic soft drinks. What the hell do you think they're trying to do to you, man? You don't see Esau flooding into them stores on a high level buying that shit. Okay? Uh, this is time life. Okay, this is um, this was actually an article titled "How Christian Slave Owners Used um, the Bible to Justify Slavery." Okay, they used their own book against us, man. So you got people who don't believe in the scriptures, and, and like the Black Conscious Community say, "See, they, uh, the Bible is nothing but a slave white man slave book." That's because they don't understand it. It says, um, uh, they, I'm, not, I'm just paraphrasing some of this. They went into the fact of the story of, of Noah drunk and uh, why, uh, why curse Canaan uh, rather than Ham. How long was the servitude to last? And what they mean by curse uh, Canaan, they was talking about everybody was white and they was cursed black. And that's what the Mormons use. So they linked us, since Africa is Ham, they linked us to Ham. They linked us to Hamites. That's why they call us Cushite Gentiles or Hamites or Canaanites, whatever you want to call them. Okay? Well, let's say Hamites. Okay? That's what they're doing. They're linking us to Ham. Okay? And then our people want to link us to Mizraim. Okay? And the reason why they're doing that because they know Ham was a, a dark nation. But they're trying to separate themselves and, say, and seem like it was a white nation and then all of a sudden everybody was white and all of a sudden they got cursed and turned black and then the Lord put us in slavery this is what uh, the devil does this is how he thinks because he's a poisoner he's a tyrant and he's a murderer okay um, this guy Vocab Malone okay who's promoting Christianity and that's what he should do he's a, a heathen he's a devil but then he has Jay the producer who left IUIC and that's why I put the clip in there.
because Jay the producer used to be with IUIC so now he's left IUIC and went back into the Christian faith and now he is doing he, it, Christ, the Christian faith has done nothing for our people and he knows it okay he knows the Christian faith has done nothing for our people okay uh, going back to the IUIC when they was going into the uh, the Christian zone, many slaves. Look, man, he's the Christian country that's the so so called uphold the Christian morals is still uh, trading basketball and football players, okay, from team to baseball players to team to team, uh, 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 team to team, state to state. It's, st it's still under the same slave principle, okay. Some heathens are mixed up in there, but most of those looking like heathens are Israelites anyway okay alright this is uh, well let me go back to the article okay he said uh, when, when he read the article I'm going to just brief it it says the rest of the Old Testament was often mined by pro-slavery uh, polemists okay uh, polemists polemicist, for example proving that slavery was common among the Israelites Okay, they're linking the slavery that we see today, okay, with servitude of the ancient time. Okay, there's a difference between servitude, okay, slavery, and torture. Okay, what they did to Yahawashah was torture. But wait a minute, they burnt crosses in the so called Negroes' backyard. Representing, the cross represents uh, Yahawashah in their eyes, doesn't it? So if Yahawashah was a Jew, and yet they're burning crosses in the backyards of Jews. So wouldn't that tell you that they even know that the real Jews were Israelites? The top elitists know it. People of the top culture of uh, Esau knows the Negroes are the real Jews, so-called Negroes. And the scattered, dispersed of the Israelites are the true biblical Israelites. Okay, they know that. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't have much to go on it. I was just, you know, making another point off of it. Um, crack ep the crack epidemic is spawned off of Christianity because all these people that you knew that smoked crack was church. So how the hell did the Christian church do any good? And these people are the main one tell us that we teach hate, that we're haters, and we teach hate. When we hate the evil and love the good, as Amos 5 say. So, where is Vocab Malone and uh, uh, Brother Jada Producer's videos? And I look at his page on the epidemic of crack addiction in the ghettos. I mean, you figure he would go into the epidemic of the so-called white race who is now being plagued by meth and fetamines. But he hasn't even done that. Why? Because Vocab Malone wants to stack his dollars. He only cares about the cash. Okay? Psalms 55 and 11. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Okay? So, uh, this, this place is full of wickedness. Okay? If the church was such an upstanding, upholding uh sanctity why are, all the, why are all the people of those churches destroyed man the majority of those people of the churches are destroyed okay damn near everybody's divorced single okay having affairs drug strung out alcohol abusers pill abusers okay lovers of sickness just everything wicked man no balance of goodness at all. Just pure wickedness. Christianity has done nothing for the people, man. Okay? If you know showing you from the inside out, man. Them places are sick. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. The words were softer than oil, yet they drawn swords. Okay? This is America, man.
vaccines, I mean inoculations. Okay? They'll tell you, I love you, the economy uh, is not that great, but we're going to have a, uh, we're going to overcome. But you know what they do to balance the economy, the budgeted? Cut out the whole foods and, and put in GMO foods. Okay? Give you a pill, give you a pill popping society. And on and on. That's how they stole this place, man. Smooth words saying we'll keep the treaties. Yeah, we we all about love and peace. But this so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you Christians, the majority of you Christians, there are some Christians who may feel they're sincere in what they believe. Okay? But you Christians, the majority of you are sheeple or steeple. Okay? But the those Christians that know what's going on, they are using you and they're going to spit your ass out, man. They don't give a goddamn about you, man. We, we can see that it has done nothing for Christianity. Not a damn thing for Christianity. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Uh, I want to say shalom.